What are you doing here on Rainbow? Uh, I'm celebrating with all the Rainbow family. Um, we're just after a food circle that got smaller. When the moon gets uh, smaller, the circle gets smaller. And uh, we're leaving tomorrow after one month here. We enjoyed very much. I did some workshops in uh, reflexology and in Tantra. Um, I had a conflict between just being in a rainbow, do nothing, and between doing. Like uh, people ask me, when are you going to give the next workshop? After one workshop, and then I feel in duty. But uh, I, I found, I'm not balancing it yet, but I found the, the right dimension between uh, just being and doing. It was my something I learned in, in this rainbow. Uh, right now we're fixing our tent. Uh, you can see with all the mess inside, and we take it to dry on the in the sun because we live in a forest. We have the emok that uh, maybe a little wet, and uh, the fire we had with all the mess. We will clean it. I hope. <laughs> uh, I just realized now, in front of the camera, that it's, uh, it's hard to leave. It's really hard to leave the place. Um, Why? I had, I had uh, some difficult time, especially in uh, being in couplehood. I had some pleasure time, enjoyable. Uh, Meeting beautiful new people. Um, I like to share. My dream for since some, uh, my dream almost for 30 years is uh, to build a village, holistic village. I tried twice in my life and it didn't work out, but it's still my vision to have like a rainbow village uh, all, all year around. I will be happy if I can find it in my country. It's not easy there. <laughs> How you would like to see this village, uh, like here, like? Uh, what? I would like uh, more, more responsibility for people to take, uh, because it's hard for me to be fully trust that everything will be okay. But maybe if this magic walk here, the rainbow. There's always enough food, always enough volunteer people. Nobody take you anywhere. There is shit pit being digging, there is all problems we had, there is always people to do what should be done. So maybe like this, or maybe with more uh, people will be in charge of, of uh, certain things. Um, and uh um, what uh, could you tell more about the workshops? What we gave? Uh, what did you taught? Uh, like uh, why? Um, to take the chewing gum out. <laughs> the workshop. Um, it's not something I plan. I just feel the need, the vibes in a circle, and when somebody needs something, sometimes it's I create something in the minute, and. Uh, the workshops I gave was like four or five workshops, I don't remember, was built for, uh, uh, for something I had that needed from people. Like somebody said that it hard for him to feel intimious. So I built it around the intimious. Somebody was like sick, so I said, let's learn reflexology. It's also touch, it's intimious, it's a medicine. Um, the Tantra way of living, the relationship man-woman, it's most interesting to me right now in my life. Uh, after my children grew up and, uh, and I, had, uh, I had a school for 15 years for holistic medicine, like I feel uh, accomplished myself in most of my visions. That's and nice. most interesting to me now, it's a relationship between men and women, the difference between men and women. The opposition between men and women, the ktavim, kotev, 
זה פולאריטי. And uh, when, when we have uh, the polarity, when we aware to the polarity, we, we know how to deal with it. Um, and it's different language, men and women. I feel I need a lifetime to learn the language of the men. Um, maybe more lifetimes, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I learn myself as a woman. As, uh, every time I feel more woman, I allow to the woman in me to come out more. Um, and this is a pleasure. It's interesting. It's fascinating. It's also challenging. Mm -hmm. So why do you think uh, to, uh, is it important to teach Tantra here? In the rainbow? Sure. Sure. It's uh, some people are even uh, 18 years old, and there is uh, 50 years old, and they all want to learn about how to be, uh, how to allow the energy in ourselves, especially the sexual energy, to flow, to empower, to express. And I feel the sexual energy, the life energy, the life force. And uh, as more we give it more place, space in our life with uh, an, a word to it and know how to empower it, we, we give to the world. As I said in my workshop, when I make love, I feel like I'm getting closer to God every time. So I feel I'm like nurturing the, the trees here, the, the forest. Um, it's like... A, like walking in a kitchen. Same, it's like I feel giving. Okay, what would you say to the people? What they can do uh, to make their life better, more loving? Yeah. To put in balance the fear from changing and our want to changing. Like uh, if you let go to the fear, you you can have more, not you, we, mm -hmm. <laughs> so me, uh, can have more opportunity to grow, to be a, a, a bigger person, human being. I wanted to make a permanent community before I've met the rainbow. And um, I wanted the people to be together in love. I'm sure it's not easy. All the time there is things that happen. And um, uh, I want my first selfish, very selfish reason. I like people. I like community. I like to cook together. I like to create. I'm an artist, a sculpture. I, I paint. I like even to sculpture. I like to sculpture together with people. Um, I have kids. I have four boys. I like them to be beside me in the community. Uh, I have friends, I'm a teacher for be a dancer, studying, so it's also a community. I like in the community to be a dancer, it's a movement, dancing, special music. Um, I think that a human being born not to be alone, born to be naturally in the community. And if we live in the community, I think uh, we'll be better people and we keep the earth like should be. We keep the... Um, we keep balance with the planet if we live in community and we learn to live balance in ourselves, you know. Um, it's learning how to give away, how to split, how to melt your ego. There's so many good things that you have to learn if you want to live in a community. Um, last uh, four years, I, uh, I put myself in a path of learning communities in the world. And I went to few communities because the communities that I was, uh, them, they, they broke. And... Uh, 
I didn't know exactly why, and I had to learn to visit communities that work well and to see what's the secret in each community. So I went to Tamera in Portugal, which is uh, ecological and free love. And I went to Hawaii in few communities uh, uh, of raw food, of all kinds of communities. And I went to Costa Rica, to Pachamama. Uh, I went to few communities and rainbows. And uh, each place I learned other secret of the place. Um, it's something I would like to take to to this community that I I hope I'm going to have. Mm -hmm. And what did you learn from Rainbow? What did you hunt uh, on Rainbow? So many things. What do you like? Uh, what do How you to you light don't? a fire. <laughs> how to. Uh, how to live in nature when nothing is for sure. There is rain, there is sun, the sun is too hot for me, the rain is too, too much for me. It's cold at night. How, how to feel my borders are uh, uh, stretching, you know? That, uh, what before I would say, I cannot do that. There is always other things. How in a kitchen, the water from the kitchen disturbs a village. I thought it's the end of the world, what are we going to do? And then 80, 100 people start to dig for one day and they moved the, the water source, they moved it to another place. This is a miracle. To wake up and to see that there is food for so many people, thousands of people, and there is good food and healthy, that's a miracle, you know? And everything by voluntarily, just for the good will of the people. I wish to whoever watch it uh, to to be in love with himself, <laughs> with the people around him. Yeah.